What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you some awesome pro tips that will help you in Minecraft 120 to make some awesome things that others can't. Let's do it. So, you want to get impossible blocks like suspicious sand and suspicious gravel, huh? Well, guess what? Those who said that you can't get these blocks in survival, they lied to you. Here's how to do it. All right, so here's what you do. First of all, you got to find a naturally generated sand or suspicious gravel and you dig underneath of it. So let's just dig down here a little ways, like so. Don't dig out the block underneath the sand, otherwise it falls, breaks, and you'll be very sad. But once we get down to a couple blocks beneath the suspicious sand, we're gonna place down a soul soil, uh, and then we're going to place down water on top of the soul sand, and then we place down another water bucket here, and we're making a bubble column here because then we just dig out the block underneath the sand, it starts to bounce, and now we wait. And wait. And wait some more. Look at it bounce. It's beautiful bouncing block. But, this thing will actually time out after a certain amount of time, which means that it will actually drop the sand. You can see there's no sand in my inventory at the moment. Still bouncing. It's having a grand time. It's having fun. Good for, good for sand. Good for sand. Yep, there we go. And... Any moment, it times out. Bum ba da bum, and there we go. Suspicious sand obtained in survival Minecraft right there. You can do the same thing with gravel, or there is another method as well, which I can demonstrate here. Uh, we actually need another cobweb, one moment. There we go, so you take two cobwebs, do the exact same thing underneath, and you wanna dig out a little bit of space here, so one, two, then break the block. The sand will fall through the cobwebs, and then you just have to wait. But yeah, as you can see, it also works. So either way, cobwebs or bubble column, that's how you get your suspicious sand in gravel in survival. By the way, before you get your hopes up, when you brush it, it doesn't give you anything, but it's still kind of cool to have it. This next one goes out to all you builders out there. Did you know you can place pressure plates on top of decorated pots and that gives the pot a border? Check it out. Place the gold pressure plate on there, gold border. How about blackstone, black border. Iron, iron border. Wood, wood border. And you can get all the wood types, of course. And this is actually why the decorated pots are the size they are, so that the pressure plates fit exactly onto the decorated pots. In the same vein, you can use decorated pots with any sort of wall or fence, and you'll see the fence actually fits exactly in the center part, whereas the wall exactly covers the center part. Decorated pots, they're pretty cool. Also, I must say that the clay pots undecorated actually make some pretty nice columns. Pop quiz time. Did you know there is a specific use for the bamboo mosaic block? This block right here. Did you know that? The answer to the pop quiz, bamboo mosaic was added to tie bamboo floors together when you have bamboo going in different directions. Check this out. Here we have bamboo. One goes this way, the other goes the opposite way. Where they meet, we got this ugly, ugly line. So we're gonna fix it. Here's how we do that. Go to the corner of where your bamboo floors meet, then knock out all the blocks on that corner and replace it with bamboo mosaic just like this. Then, make sure the bamboo goes the same direction on each side of those bamboo mosaic blocks you placed. Uh, make sure that it goes the same direction. So here, all these are good on this side already. Here, we gotta replace all these blocks and make them go this same direction. And voila, the floors have now been tied in together via the bamboo mosaic. You can see the bamboo goes this way, and then right here, there's a transition block, and it's going this way now. That's the purpose of the bamboo mosaic block. Hanging signs are great, but there is now an even bigger, better, bolder sign that was added in 120, and that, of course, is the chisel bookshelf sign. Just simply add your book wherever you need one, and make it in the shape of a letter, and you have yourself a giant sign that can be made at almost any scale. This next pro tip will help anyone who wants to make a custom adventure or quest for your friends in Minecraft. Now, part of the exciting part of the quest is actually the path itself, the adventure leading up to your potential diamonds, anybody? But 
How are we going to do that? Well, you could make a basic path like this with the shovel and it's, you know, it's nice, it's fine, it's whatever. But what if you could make a beautiful flower path instead? Luckily, we now have the pink petals in the game, which are directionally dependent, meaning they always place the same way depending on which way you're facing. So that means you can make a beautiful mini pink petal flower path. Let me show you how. Let's say we start here, we want to go to that chest. So we're going to start here, we're going to go straight. We need two in here, then two. Then let's say this next one we want to turn. So we're going to have this go to here, then turn this way. It goes to here. Let's go straight here, straight here, straight here. We'll have it turn and go this way. So we'll have it go like this, then like this. Then let's have it, I don't know, let's have it snake this way a little bit, briefly. Then turn again, then turn again, and then go straight, turn, turn again, and... We need this one over here and here. Nope. Here and here. There we go. Perfect. There is our beautiful little pink pathway, which we can now follow right to our glorious diamonds. Are you tired of waking up peacefully from a restful night's sleep? Want to prank a friend so that when they wake up, they're greeted with the sound of legends. Introducing the Poop Your Pants 3000. This beauty will get your friends to poop their pants faster than you can say peppermint. Here's how it works. Simply enter your friend's house, dig down near their bed somewhere, place down a note block, and put a dragon head right on top. Next out, dig out a small tunnel until you can see the sky, place down your daylight sensor, attach redstone, and you're good to go. Of course, you want to make sure that you cover it up and make sure it's also not visible from the outside. I recommend a leaf or perhaps something like a carpet also works quite well with glass on top. Something, something like that. Totally inconspicuous. Works really good. Then when your friend goes to bed at night and wakes up in the morning, they're awoken and poop their pants. Also works with creeper heads. For those amongst you who are particularly sinister, may I suggest an even more devious model. Instead of having a daylight sensor, replace that with some dirt and place a sapling on top. Then place a string on top so the sapling cannot grow. Make sure you have a torch nearby and place a observer down observing the sapling. Then connect up a pieces of redstone dust to your note block and this will very rarely now emit the creeper sound and you don't even need any skylight. If I crank up the random tick speed you'll see every once in a while this will give an output very very rarely and randomly to your unsuspecting friend. Many people didn't believe it but Sniffer 2 is here. Sniffer 2 is here. Take a look at this. The camel is the sniffer. The sniffer is the camel. Reaches down. Sniffs up seeds for you. Okay, it doesn't actually sniff up seeds, but still, this is pretty hilarious. Its head is in the ground, dude. Definitely sniffer 2. The sniffer we always wanted. The sniffer we deserve. One final pro tip that I want to share with you all is that the fletching table has at long last been updated in that it also made it into 120. Yep, it still hasn't been updated. Smithing table got updated twice, fletching table not even once. Not even a hint of being updated. They, they, they looked at it briefly for like two seconds and then decided, you know what, we're going to ship it out. Still not updated after four years, good enough. For good enough for us. My gosh, come on, man. Gotta be updated sometime, right? Please, Mojang, please. I'm begging you.